Hello and welcome to another Daddy James Films Webs.com video tutorial. <laughs> In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the thundering and lightning effects on Sony Vegas. <laughs> Okay, to do this, it's real simple and easy. All you have to do is click on Media Generators and then go to Noise Texture. Once you do that, you can choose whether you want puffy clouds or soft clouds. I'm gonna go ahead and use soft clouds. Bring it down, click and drag it down to the timeline. Okay, um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Okay, now you need to decide how long you want the clips. Do you want it to be like 15 seconds, 29 seconds, or longer? However long you want the clip, you need to stretch it out to that. I'm just going to put it uh, about 30 seconds. Okay, I got to stretch it out to 30 seconds. Okay, from here, you're going to go ahead and click on Generated Media. Okay, that brings that up. Now, <clears throat> from here, you want to go ahead and change the color of this. Um, so, uh, you want to make it look like nighttime on here. So to do that, what you need to do is on color B is go all the way down in the corner and double clip. Now, if you still get this little bullseye thing here, just uh, click on it and bring it all the way down to the corner and it'll make a triangle. That way everything will be black. Now, if you want, you can, uh, <clears throat> if you want, you can bring it up a little bit or lighten it up, but I don't like it like that. Also, if you don't want all the way black, you don't need to do the little triangle thing here. You can just like, pick somewhere else and it gave kind of like a redness there and you can move around the side of what color you want but I prefer a uh, black so it look like it's nighttime okay from there what you can do you can go all the way to here to the end and double click at the end and I'll put another keyframe here for you or you can just uh, slide this thing all the way over to here and then hit plus sign however you want to do it's fine then from here, you want to go ahead and do the progress in degrees. So you click and you bring this up. Now, the farther you bring it up, the faster these clouds will go. So we're just going to go about halfway. I should about do it. And then we're done with this, so we'll close it out. Then we'll test it out. As you can see right here, the clouds are moving. They're moving at a pretty good speed. Maybe a little too fast, but you can make it as fast or slow as you want. Now what we're going to do, we'll put this video back up in this area. By the way, if you accidentally close this out, uh, if you accidentally close the video preview out, like I just did just now, now you don't see the pre video preview, go up here to the menu bar and click on view and then video preview. It will bring the video preview back. See? And then you can put it back up there. Alright, now to do the, the lightning and flash effect on here, because that's basically what you're going to do. So let's go pick an area in the video. Uh, by the way, the best thing to do is get like a, um, like some sound, uh, find some thundering lightning sound effects. Uh, you can find some really good ones on, on, you might be able to find some on YouTube. Just type in um, Halloween sound effects and you'll probably be able to find some um, thundering lightning sound effects. Okay, now once you find your thundering lightning sound effects, uh, just click the video, uh, just click the MP3 or WAV file and drop it into the uh, uh, project media bin here. You're gonna take it and drag it into the media bin. And then you're gonna figure out where you want the uh, thundering lightning to be. Um, let's say you want it to be right here. Okay, once you figure out where you're gonna want it at, you need to go back up to the video and you wanna uh, uh, split the screen right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type S on the keyboard and we will split the screen okay from there you want to go ahead and go to transitions once you go to transition you go down until you see flash and we're going to use a hard flash on it not a soft one a hard one we'll click it and we're going to bring it down here to the timeline well so far you might see this right here you keep on going closer and closer to the split and eventually it'll do this once you see that that's when you drop it okay and you can pretty much leave everything else the same uh, you know, default okay and it should be in here 
Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You can roll the uh, wheel on your mouse or you can go down here and zoom in this way. Okay, and now you see the flash. Okay, the best thing to do is go ahead and drag your sound effects in line with that. Now I can see on here the thunder don't actually start until you get right here. So I'm going to drag it over a little bit more until I can see that the thunder actually starts. So let's uh, let's try this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that gives us the thunder. Or the, yeah, the thunder and lightning sound. Okay, now if you want the flash to be a little bit more longer, you can go right here and you can slide it. Uh, and you can slide it as long as you want it. <laughs> However long you want the flash to be. Uh, but right here is fine. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and put uh, a lightning in here. A lightning rod in there. So to do that, what we're going to do is go back to media generators. And we're going to go to the noise texture. And we're going to go down from there. And we're going to look for the lightning. Okay. And all you have to do is click it and drag it down there. You can either drag it down here like this and put it right on top of it. Like so. And it would automatically put another uh, track here. Okay. Um, now another way you can do this is just add one down here at the bottom. Just right click and add a video track. And it will automatically add one up there for you. And then you just click and drag it down here. Now what you want to do, you want to line that up to the beginning of the flash. And then the next thing you want to do, you want to go all the way down here at the end and just drag it all the way over. Now you do not have to hit control uh, and then drag. You can just go in there and drag it all the way over. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so I can see better what I'm doing. Now, again, just like you did with the clouds, uh, if you want to change up some of the color, you can do that. Uh, like this, I like mine to be totally white. So now that'll be totally white. Okay. You can make it a different color. If you want it to be pink, you can let it be pink. Uh, but I like mine totally white. So I'll bring it all the way up until I see the little triangle right here. All right. So it'll be totally white. And down here. Oh, by the way, you do that on color A. Okay, down here, you come down to the bottom, add another keyframe down here, and you bring up the progress and degrees up. And we'll do about, uh, probably that much about that. You really don't need too much for to do the nice lightning. Close this out, and we'll try it out. Okay. Now, um, now to get this to blend in uh, with the clouds, um, it's real simple to do. All you have to do is go right here at Event Effect, uh, Events FX. You click on that, and all you, what you want to use is the Chroma key. Click on Chroma key, hit OK. You'll get this right here to come up. Okay. Now uh, this will be real easy to do. All you have to do is click on this right here. Pick color from the screen. Uh, you click on that, and it give you like a little. Um, It'll give you one of these, um, I don't know, whatever they're called. It'll give you that. And uh, you go over here and you click in the dark area, the black area. Click on that. Okay, once you do that, just close this out. And it should be in there. As you can see, it's in there. And that's how you do that lightning effect. So let's go ahead and rewind it a little bit. And let's see how it, how it, how it looks. There you go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and render this and um so that you can see for yourself how good it looks anyways um that's it for this tutorial comment rate subscribe thank you and have a nice day and watch for this video simple at the end